The in-flight team's hotel accommodations while filming daytime were provided by the Hampton Inn and Suites Ybor City, downtown Tampa. Welcome back. This holiday season, millions of folks will be traveling to be with their loved ones. Here to take the drama out of that trek is someone who knows all about frequent flying. He's Bobby Laurie, a flight attendant and host of crew, The Crew Lounge. Yes. Hi, Bobby. Hi, how Good are to you? see you again. Good to have you Thanks back. Thanks for having me back. A couple of things we have to remember before we uh, head to the airport. And yes. one thing that I didn't know is I can bring a pie, a real <laughs> baked pie. Pie. You can. Even if it's gel like on the inside of some sort, you can take baked goods through security. You the don't have to take a bite of it in no, front you of don't security? Have to, no, you don't <laughs> have to. The, the, the TSA says that it's subject to additional screening, mm -hmm. but you are allowed to take baked goods through security. Huh. And you can get all that information on TSA.gov, okay. the TSA's website. Yeah. Does, Who knew? Like, but what if it's wrapped? That's what I was don't just wrap saying. it up? No, don't wrap it up. Okay. Don't wrap it up. All right. So all, anything that's wrapped is going gonna, is gonna to be unwrapped and checked out pretty thoroughly. Correct. If you're going to travel with gifts, make sure that they're all unwrapped because the wrapping is one extra layer that the TSA has to x-ray through. So they're going to ask you to unwrap your gifts. All right. So you might want to actually ship them ahead of time to your destination. So this way it's just one less hassle the day that you're traveling. Are you finding a lot of people are doing that these days? They're actually doing that shipping? I, I think so. I think because of the extra checked bag fees, people mm -hmm. have so much with them that they just don't want to spend the extra $50 to check a bag or maybe two, depending on how many gifts you have. Right. So it just makes it a little bit easier just to ship them ahead of time. If it makes economic sense, I yes. guess so. Oh yeah, yeah. definitely. All right. <laughs> if you don't want to travel with a lot of bulk regardless or go through the mm -hmm. trouble of sending out a bunch of boxes ahead of yourself, uh, you, can, you can scale it down size-wise but still give a nice gift. Yeah, yeah, definitely. There's there's some other ideas that, that there's some other ideas that you can use for gifting. You can even like make a donation to a charity or something, which saves on check bag fees <laughs> and shipping fees because there's absolutely nothing to ship other than an envelope. Right, so doesn't take any space. So there's other ideas than just actually traveling with something. You say if if you are going to get a physical gift, mm -hmm. uh, wait till you get to your destination. Yeah, you know if you're if you're going to be there for like a week or so, why not wait to shop until you get there? Because the closer to the holiday, the prices usually get a little bit better. So why not just wait and save and save and save on the fees that way? True. Also, mm -hmm. if it's a big chain store, you can order it online and have it delivered right. where you're going. And have it delivered to your destination for you. Exactly. Uh, something you don't want to do this time of year is wait till the last minute to go to the <laughs> airport. That's true. That's so hard. That's it's a hard true. habit to break for some people, but really, you'll you'll regret it if you do. What's oh, the yeah. rule? What's it, the rule? Today's rule. Oh well, you know, it changes kind of daily. Um, I would, I personally would recommend during the holiday season two hours to two and a half hours prior because the closer to the holiday the longer the lines and you really have to prepare to go wait in those lines. Pack your patience. Pack your patience. <laughs> There's other things you can pack too. Like the last time I was here, I showed you my Ziploc bag full of liquids and gels. Yes. I was I, hoping you'd bring a pie. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. But um, I brought it back because it's so important to have that packed, ready to go into the bin in an easily accessible location in your luggage. Yes. That's, this is what holds up the lines most often. Right. Keep it in the outside yeah, pocket. Keep it in the outside pocket. There's no reason that you should be fumbling for it if you've already packed it at home. Print that boarding pass before you leave the house. Do that. <laughs> exactly. And you know, everyone, everyone knows that most airlines, you can check in online and print out your boarding passes at home. What they don't know is if you do plan on checking a bag, you can prepay for your luggage on the internet and at the airport they have predetermined locations for uh, e-check-in bag drop-off. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. you just go drop off your bag, they print out the tag, put it on, there's no lines, you just go right into the security line. It's one thing that holds up everybody and it's, it's kind of annoying especially if you're the parent, kids can, I mean yeah. no offense to the kids but it's, it's tough to keep it, them in line. It is tough so parents really should plan to wait in line with, with their children and this product that I brought in, this is a brand new product, it's called Packet. Uh -huh. You put this in the freezer, it's a, it's, a new, um, it's a new insulated lunch bag and it keeps food on the inside cold for up to 10 hours. Well there you go. So I would say bring Packet this with like vegetables and fruit stuff that you can take through security for your child wait in line with it get one of them packet.com they're amazing happy Great travels advice. bobby oh, thanks so much thanks, happy sir. holidays bobby laurie uh, he is from the crew lounge yes